It was to meet the needs of the children that the Frontier Nursing Service was founded. In time, the nurses brought healing and hope and a larger measure of life to all the hill people in their small domain. The uniform and the transportation have changed, but the principles have stayed constant for half a century. It all began when Mary Breckenridge, a Kentucky gentlewoman who served as a nurse in France after World War I, saw how much could be done for mothers and children in poor remote areas by skilled nurse midwives. Today, the Frontier Nursing Service operates a hospital, a training center, and six nursing outposts like this one. It has developed a concept of primary health care and community service, which has reached out into remote areas all over the world. Can you shake that up? Can you shake that up? Huh? Shake that up? The nurse midwives continue to care for the babies they have delivered, to watch over their development. You know how we they learn to know the children okay. and their families and the atmosphere in which they grow up. <laughs> Long ago, Mary Breckenridge put into words the principles she wanted the Frontier Nursing Service to follow. Let's listen back here. From the beginning, I had the wish to do the work so well and to keep such accurate records of it that others would study it, be trained in its techniques, and then, in other remotely rural parts of our own and other countries, repeat the system we used. It would be possible for us to reach only a few thousand children directly, but hundreds of thousands of children could be reached by others because of us. Our inaccessibility was a priceless asset. None who wanted to copy our work could plead that it would be more difficult for them than it has been for us. Open real big. Can you stick your tongue out at me like this? Huh? Can you do that? Atta boy. Let me just peek over your tongue here and we'll be done. Out of this tiny stone chapel, nurses have graduated into a hundred fields of service. Some will remain in Appalachia. Some will go into other parts of rural America or the trouble-torn inner cities. Still others will go to Latin America, Asia, the Middle East, Africa, Fifty-seven countries have welcomed the skills the frontier nurses have learned here. Ultimately, they will teach others that the care of the child is central to the care of the family, of the community, of the civilization. ...is to quote what Mary Breckenridge wrote in the very early years of the service. To meet the needs of the frontiersman's child, you must begin before he is born and carry him through the hazards of childbirth. Even after his birth, the young child is not an isolated individual. His care not only means the care of his mother before, during, and after his birth, but the care of his whole family as well. When a group of people take as their point of departure the young rural child and cherish the wish of serving him, they will be led by degrees into a full public health program on his behalf. So with these words, I wish you all well in whatever your future may hold for you.
Let them 